Hey guys, so I'm going to be. <laughs> hey guys, I am going to be. I am. Oh lord. Hey guys, I'm going to be putting my hair in flat twists. So I just unraveled it from thread. God, if I do like this, like you can see the shape of my hair. Wait, I've actually always wondered what shape my hair was. It's like big and then like this so that's my hair shape okay nice anyway let's spray some water in my hair it makes it easier to work with so this has only water in it i did not put any other thing after i let the shrinkage begin i trust my hair so the first thing you want to do is if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt put it up up you know you're about to work into your hair your fro sorry now we're going to start with dividing our hair into sections you can choose to prepare all the sections on your head down or divide your sections as you go which is what i am doing my section is quite big because i'm doing chunky twists but if you want something smaller make sure to cut a smaller section my lines were quite crooked because i'm going to be scarfing my hair so this is my leave-in cream and this is the only product I'm going to be using for this flat twist. That and water. I'm not sure if you qualify water as product, but... Now going with the flat twist, I like to take one section first and then cross it over. For a flat twist, we're going to be using two strands rather than three strands as we would for a three strand twist weaving. Also your index fingers are necessary. What we're basically doing is crossing as you would do a normal twist but what is making this difference is that as our index finger is going under we are taking some more hair now i want you to watch my hands very carefully you will see that as my hands go under it takes some more hair my hair is not the longest in the bunch so because i'm doing a big section and my hair is shrunken i have to be careful I'm showing you this in real time because I want to make sure it is firm I go slowly now as you're crossing you want to make sure that you're not picking too much hair if you pick too much hair when you unravel it you may not get the best definition and it may not be as neat as you would like it to be so you make sure you keep twisting make sure your hands are firm or your fingers rather so you get to the end and when you get to the end you twist it make sure that there is enough product at the end so it does not dry out and i like to finish off with a bantu knot because that way my ends are protected now the second section that i'm going to be showing you is the same style i used to do the first section but i want you to watch closely again I make sure to moisturize each section as I detangle. Now you see how I'm going through and gliding easy. This is because my hair is already detangled. If your hair is not detangled, you will not have a neat flat twist because you will have to be unraveling the knots as you go, which is not going to make things neat. Watch my hands carefully, please. You see that's my index fingers go under. I'm picking some more. And as they do, my fingers are very firm because I want it to be neat. The thing about twists is that they would unravel a little bit by themselves when you are done with twisting them. So you want to make sure that while twisting them, they are as firm as they can be so that when you are done, you still have a neat twist. Spray your water on your hair if you begin to feel your hair dry. You know your hair needs to be detangled. Now this is the second style I'm going to be showing you. This is the style I use when I cannot get comfortably to the back of my head. It is not my favorite style because I tend to steal from other strands, which is what I would advise you not to do if you want to get a nice definition. But when I cannot reach the back of my hair, this is the style I do. 
pretty much how I would do a three strand twist except that I am doing two strands here and lord that section was so gigantic is it gigantic or gigantic <laughs> anyway this is the last section of course we finger the tangle and this is the third style it is pretty much what I showed you for the first side for the first couple of sections except that this time we are twisting right same same style put your index finger under under the hair and take some hair as you are progressing downwards also your hands should be firm is it hands or fingers <laughs> Then keep progressing and keep going, keep going. Your hands may be aching you at this point, but just keep going. Because my hands were aching me, oh lord. I know this is just five, but make sure that you have enough products in the ends of your hair. And then put it in a bantu knot. And we are done. Look at how gorgeous they look. Yeah, smiling for y'all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. We are done. Here, I was talking about how I'm not going to be laying any edges because Mans was tired. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this, please, or if you learned it too, please make sure to give a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss subsequent videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.